Back in 2016, a user called Steven78 somehow ended up with a load of discs that used to belong to Climax Group, which was a video game development company based in Portsmouth in the UK, which was founded in 1999 and folded in 2006. Steven ended up with some two to 3,000 discs which were eventually sold on eBay. I bought just one of these discs, a very early Superbike 98 prototype. However, amongst the entire set of discs sold, there were games such as Theme Park World, Robot Wars, ATV, Off-Road Fury and more. You can see the entire list over at hiddenpalace.org. I chose to buy just this disc as it was a very early prototype of a game that was never actually released. And here, I'll show you some footage of what the disc contains. The game loads up on track straight away with no intro or anything like that. There's just one rider, one bike and one course. No selection options at this point in the game's development of course. The first thing to note is that by pressing circle gives you this 360 degree camera angle which will circle around the bike. You can still ride the bike while the camera is doing its thing but obviously it makes it harder to see where you're going. This was probably put in so people could check out the graphics on the rider and the bike a little better. Even though obviously they're not very good by today's standards. The next thing to mention is that it plays almost more like a tech demo than a prototype to be honest. It's just the bare bones of what can be considered a video game. No sound effects, no music, nothing really. Though the prototype is at least playable. I'll take you on a lap around the course and as you can see there are some curbs, advertisement boards and tyre walls around the start of the lap but as we get further around the course you can see that they don't really continue for long. You can see grass around the course as well as walls and gravel traps too, which is at least what I'm assuming those sandy patches are meant to be. The track isn't hugely challenging, though there are a couple of hairpin corners you have to brake for. There are two main buttons to control the bike, X to accelerate and square to brake, as with most racing games. The L and R buttons as well as start and select all go unused. As far as I know, the series would begin life as Castrol Honda Superbike World Champions, which was only released on the PC. The sequel, which was Castrol Honda Superbike Racing, was released on the PlayStation 1 the following year in 1999, which is what I believe this game was actually a prototype of. There are actually four games in the series, with the last being Castrol Honda VTR in 2001, still for the PlayStation 1. Coming around to the end of the lap, You'll see grandstands on the left hand side, which is one of the few things that has been developed at this point. And now we've finished the lap, we can begin to talk about some of the more quirky aspects of the gameplay. So firstly, you can't go in the pits. There's an invisible wall blocking you at both ends. And while you're watching this, I just wanted to say that I've actually donated a digital copy of this game to Hidden Palace. So you can all download and play this prototype yourselves. I hope you enjoy it even though it's just basically a tech demo. I'll put the link to the download page in the video description. Another weird thing to comment on are these weird tyre marks, sort of like the racing line you get on all racetracks. It's often a slightly different colour to the rest of the course due to more frequent use. However, on this prototype it's sort of solid and you can ride along it. If you go off at either side the bike kind of jumps a little bit. Very weird. It's only on this section of the track however. But well, this video doesn't end here, there's one more thing to mention. There is another, later prototype of Superbike 98 that was bought from the eBay listings by a member of Hidden Palace called Pixel Butts. This build is from October 1998, whereas the disc I bought was dated August 1998. The bike is pretty similar to the one on the earlier build, but the rider is dressed in different coloured overalls, at least now it matches the colours of the bike. You still have the option to get the camera to circle around the bike should you want to view the rider and the bike a bit more clearly. Again, you can do it while stationary or moving. You have one track again, and it's the same track as before. However, by now, it's slightly more developed. The start of the course looks pretty similar to the earlier build, but as we make our way round, you see a lot more detail in the surroundings of the course, such as trees, crowd stands and other things. There are also more curbs on the corners. The bike rides pretty much the same as before, the physics haven't really evolved between the earlier build and this one. And the wheels on the bike still don't move, despite you building up speed and slowing down of course. 
If you're familiar with the PS1 Superbike game series, you might recognise the track, the rider and the bike. My best guess, and I'm not massively well up on Superbike racing, is that you're playing as Colin Edwards, who raced for the Castrol Honda team from 1998 until 2002. And after a bit of research, I believe the track on both prototypes is the TT Circuit Assen, which is located in the Netherlands. The World Superbike Championship still visits Assen today in 2018, with the race being held in April. You can download and play both of these prototypes from Hidden Palace. The link to the download page is in the video description, as I mentioned before. You can also read all about the Climax lot here, and download lots of other prototypes too that were salvaged from the eBay listings. It's not known who bought some of the discs still, perhaps there were other people like me who only bought one or two discs, and haven't posted any information about them online since. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching these two prototypes in action, and I hope you enjoy playing them for yourselves as well.